So welcome back everybody to part three of our latest Cornish Quest experience. A little bit of a bumpy drive by Neil there, but certainly not in the last video. Don't expect anything less. Don't expect anything less. Neil did a fantastic series of six holes in the last video. Hope you've all gonna seen that. If you haven't, go back and watch it because it was great. I'm not gonna say what happened if you haven't. It if wasn't you, if, if you have seen it, but... he parred all six holes. Well done. Okay, um, I am just filling in bits and pieces today because I'm still recovering from a slip disc, but hey, just enjoying it. And I want, want to see how well you were doing. And you're, you're getting back there, aren't you? Getting well, back to slowly, that slowly. level you should be. Slowly. So we are at the Point Poles F today. Fantastic course. It's just up the road from St. Edadoc, just 20 minutes from Travaux. Yep. It's not very far from Bude either. There's lots of fantastic courses around here, and this is absolutely one of them. Probably one of the best Parkland courses I know. It's, I know. Say, it's the first time I've played here, and I'm... I'm impressed. Well, so you should be. The way you're playing is good. The greens are fantastic. Yeah. They won lots of awards for that. They've got a accommodation here. They, they've got a pool. They've got leisure facilities. It's a great place. Come and take a look. The Point Poles F. So we're on hole 13. We are indeed. We are kind of scrambling, but basically it's Neil playing solo with me doing a few extra bits. We played a, a scramble and we're three over for the yeah, course so far. Yeah, we had an iffy first six holes. It was. You had to use some of my drives, which wasn't getting your distances. I just wasn't getting it right. That's okay. Much better second yep. video, so let's crack on. 13th hole, Yeah. 286 par three, uh, sorry, par four. Let's go. Right then, Neil. Yeah, well, it's only a short par four, but okay. if I knew exactly where I was going, I'd hit a driver, but I've gone down to a hybrid. Okay. And so you could go over that bunker if I can. Yeah, there's a bunker kind of just well but that big kind of bush tree in front of us yeah. there's a bunker further on it's, that you can't right see very well it's right inside of the fairway and it dog legs around so yep that's the line okay oh he's just hit a perfect shot again Again, if you watch the last video, you'll understand he's just been on form, on point, mate. Well, on point at the point. On point at the point. Um, I'm not sure if that's another hole when we come back this way, but that is also beautiful. This has grown a lot more in the last few years since yeah. I've been here. It looks um, amazing. But it's, a, it's got a lovely winding kind of stream that's going yeah. through the gap here. So we're up on the top, bit, obviously. There might be another one down here. We'll wait for that later. Right now, I am not needed. And that's absolutely fine by me. You could stripe this right down the middle. Well, I could, but, you know. Or I could just fall over on my backside and not be able to get up. Well, it's not bad. It's a little bit high on the left. But it would have been up there in my level. That would have been all right. Yeah. OK, we crack on, matey. Let's, let's go and find your ball. Let's get to the fairway. All right, so. Just narrowly avoided the bunker, which was good. 80 yards in. Yeah. You was just off the fairway, which was nice. It was a good yeah, shot. Yeah, it might have been a good shot in for me, about 120 yards. So I've just left us 80 yards, which is yeah. that really... Strange. I don't like it. No, strange distance for you. Oh, that's much better. Go on. That's much, much better than you've been doing on that level. On the green? At the back of the green. Still not, for you, not that. No, I, I normally would hit. I thought that I was, was better. I was hitting the 60 earlier, so I thought I'll go to a 52 and hit it softer. But I think you need to kind of work out what you want to do with that distance. Yeah, I'm kind of missing a 56 in the middle, I think. No, not hard enough, I but. Yeah. Actually, if that had been online, it would have been on the green. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. It's alright. Oh, well. I'm, uh, there I'm just mate. at the back of the green, so we'll have to take on it. Yeah. Back to, back back to par position. Yeah. Thank you, mate. I was just saying to Neil, if that had actually been straighter, that would have been a really good shot on the green. It's, it's pin eye, but a bit to the right. I'm not turning my body around enough yet. We'll get there. So, a long putt. Go on. Go on. 
Go on, go on, go on. Well done. Um, I'll go and take a putt, but I don't really need to. That's a great shot, though. Need to get some tees off you in a minute. <laughs> well, I correct them again. I had eight teas in my pocket earlier, I've got nothing. Right. Pretty straight? Yeah, I think if you go out my ball you'd be fine. Yeah. Just fade it away off. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Tap her in. Give her a little tap, tap, tap her, Rooney. Tap her, tap, tap her. Rooney. And we've gone to the next oh, hole. Oh, another par. Another par. Another par. It is a hot day now, it's, it's really kicking in. I've got the collar up, got the sun cream on. Wish I had a big floppy hat actually. I'm going to get one of those big floppy yeah. hats again. So, what are we doing now? 386 yard par four. Okay. Now he's got two parts of fairway. Yep. Uh, break, broken up by like a little zigzagging. This is the, yeah, this is the one I was trying to show a couple of holes ago yeah. when I was just saying about the zigzaggy. I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, well, brook. Brook, probably. Yeah. Burn, yeah, if you're burn. in Scotland maybe, yeah. So you've got a little brook that zigzags through. So you've got one section of fairway, then another. Hopefully if I hit the driver nicely, I should be able to clear that second part. So oh, let's, let's just get out there. So it's changed, well, dramatically. It's just got more more fully grown in itself since the last came here five years ago. Looking amazing. I want to be a member. Oh, he's hit an absolute screamer again. That's a great shot, mate. I'm oh, not going to drive. I think that's cleared it. But I don't need. I don't need to drive. You don't need me when you hit a ball like that. That's the nature of scramble. Oh, look. I'm just good on camera. Just found a tee. Replaces one you've stolen. <laughs> I, look, they never disappear. They're always in my pocket. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, let's carry on. So Neil, we've just uh, gone past this little bit of what well, I'm calling it essential drainage work right yeah. now. Uh, that you can see there. So there. I'll, I'll say from the T, John said, are we going out there towards that man standing? Yeah, and but I'm I'm like, trying to explain to you where what this hole was about and I said, you go up there to where that man is. And I was like, what man? He goes, the man that's standing really still without moving his arms. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's sorry. a pipe. The problem with heavy medication is, yeah, I have no idea why I've been playing golf today. Thank you to the pipe anyway. point for allowing me here, to be honest. <laughs> and thank you to Neil for his patience. It's all right. But you've hit a great shot again. We're in the fairway. We're managed the fairway. to clear that, which was good. Well, ab absolutely. And uh, well, never hit the bloke. No. I, mean, I think I'll put a hat on him. I call him Dave. Dave. <laughs> Dave the drainage man. Uh, well done. You're playing so well. I'm so proud of you, well, mate. Doing, doing all right. I feel a bit loved up with all the medication. <laughs> Go on, okay, go and hit this ball. We'll, uh, we'll move on from that. Carry on. Right, Neil, so you've checked your yardages. Yeah. 101, you believe? 101, which is kind of a better yardage than what we have been leaving myself. Well, yeah, this is more your, well, so you believe, your level. So. This is more what I'd like. I'm going to leave that, I'm going to find a club. Not that I don't think I'll be needing it. It wasn't bad, but it just drifted a little bit off that right. Just leaked right on the green, but let's say it's on the green. I'm not hitting it close at the moment, but I'm actually getting it on the green. Well, so you're not birdieing, but you are parring. Yeah, I'm not hitting it within 12, 15 feet, but then. And I'm not really helping you, but get a few closer ones. So. Need, to, need to see what the stats are for, for my handicap and like 100 yards and in. Good strike. Bouncing and rolling. I think you're on the front yeah, edge. A little bit short, isn't it? But that's okay. Oh, we'll go take a look, mate. Let's get to the green. 
So we're, we're going to take Neil's. Uh, mine is just short of the green. Yeah. Neil's on the green. Not an awful lot of difference, to be honest, but we're Not obviously going to take Neil's. Thank you very much. Just because it's on the green. No well, other reason. So I'm going to go and find my ball. Neil uh, just repaired his pitch marks. Oh, Neil's going to go and find my ball. Uh, Neil just repaired his pitch mark and said that it basically it landed and just jumped sideways a little bit further away from the hole. So it was actually probably even a better shot than we thought. We'll see you when we get back to the camera. Dead straight, isn't it? Yeah, if, if anything, it is like left, 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 if anything. Uh, not quite. No. I'm not there today. Nothing else. Uh, you carry on, mate. Um, just pocket in another tree. Well done. Well done. Oh, guess what? Is that another par? Another par. It's another par. Oh, we ought to go back to the front, like front six again, shall we? Well, yeah. Well done. See how we get on then. Well done. Right then, Neil, we're on hold number 15. You're actually 15. surprised that we're actually on 15. I know, already. it didn't feel like we've got to the 15th. Yeah, I there's a little we marker the point back there of a buggy and it says left to the 18th, oh, no. right to the 15th. So, I'm, I'm just getting confused. So, what hole are we on? It's the 15th. 15th, yeah. 526 yeah. yard par 5. And from what I can see, you've got a bunker on the right, but that one looks like it's just been filled with the ground rubber, so that's yep. where you are. You've got a bunker left hand side. Yep. Hopefully that won't come into play and we can get past that. And a big expansive space. Yeah, so quite a nice big open space down there. Yeah, there are bunkers through the near the flag, but we ain't going to worry about that right now. Oh, yet again. Yet again, honestly. So good. So good. Too good for me. Take that. Absolutely. Right, Neil. So we actually just checked that on a range finder going back. 280. 280. Very I'm nice. Happy with that. Yeah. So the driver's not actually been fit for me, so it's doing it's well. A fairway. It's a fairway. At 280 on a fairway. There yeah. you go. Right, so we got 245. Okay, just get it up there. Oh, and he has two. Well, a bit left. Slightly left. Say, so, not in a bunker, though. No. Should be right. Should be fine. Should be okay. Well, Neil, that actually came out rather well. Uh, you, yeah. You kind of thought that wasn't that good, but you're just I didn't off think the green. It was far enough, but no, I'm happy. Very good. Nice and steady. Roll it out. Roll it out. Right there and thereabouts on distance, aren't you? Still not stone dead, but hey, we got a putt for a bird well, there at least. Got a, got a putt for a bird. What a bird? Bird? Are you sure? Oh well, yeah. No, that doesn't play our game. Man. Our game's normally all pars, mate. I've got a ball on me. Oh, I've got a ball now. And uh, I've actually forgot how to hit a ball recently because I've needed one. I put it back in the buggy. So I, I'll get the are you using a scrubber brush because all your teas have just appeared yeah. again? Honestly, I'm just a tea caddy. There you go. Tea boy. Tea boy. Right, so, go on, get it inside mine. Well, it'll be nice, but things are starting to there today. Oh, the dinky nine. About the same, I reckon. About the same. Oh. I think we're, um, how would you say, equidistant on that one? Equidistant. <laughs> it's almost like an education, honestly, it is. I'm getting a golfing education right now. He's playing very well. Right then, Neil, so we took yours. Well, it was closer. A bit closer. 
Just a oh, tad. Come on. Oh, oh, there and there bikes. Is it another par? Right, this this worked when we did it last at the scramble, so. What, you line up and me at it? Well. Straight on that line. Yeah, yeah that, that's part of my problem right now, is I can't bend down low enough to actually line the ball up. But on that line. On that line, straight. Oh. Nearly. Tap it in for the power. Oh. Good walking dogs. Walking dogs. Tap it in. We'll get the power. We will. Oh. Your ball, sir. Oh. Another power. It's all right. Well, how else do I play the game at the moment? Well, not, there's nothing. You know, there's nothing wrong with going. Oh, it's another par. No. Is there really? Not really. <laughs> so we shouldn't really be disappointed. Quite happy to take it. Yeah. Okay, Neil, so it's a quirky little par three, this. It is, yeah. With slope, it's at 90, 98 yards. Yeah, you give it a bit of a measure with the range finder. Yeah. Um, have you got my scrubber? I, I have, yeah. I picked it up because you didn't leave a tee this time. You've got everything in mind in this pocket. That's all I am, nothing but a caddy, mate. Caddy and cameraman. So, I'm not really going to be able to film this, but it's, uh, it's kind of straight down there. I, obviously, I can't get behind. Okay? It's all right, well... We'll give you a, a lovely running commentary of where yeah, it goes. Yeah, that's all go. we can do. We don't have a third person down there standing by the green today. Well, that looked like, well, it's gone such a long way. That looked very good, mate. I think it's short. Yeah? Oh, mm, sure. It wasn't, wasn't the best strike in the world. And every time I look at yours, I go, oh, that went really well. And you go, it's not the best strike. Uh, I've got a nice tee here. So. Oh, is, that, yeah. is that one of my tees? It's one of yours. Yeah. I've got to make some profit. I lose, I lose out in golf balls, so I might as well gain in tees. I think good. Right. My wife watching this now, screaming at the camera, going, "What are you doing?" Right again. Right, right. Yeah, because I just can't get my body round. No. Okay. It's alright, we're, we're down there somewhere. Uh, we're I've broken there. that one, mate. Sorry. <laughs> so, Neil, we're about to drive down the buggy. We are. Uh, you're not that short, mate. No. No. Well, to be fair, I couldn't see past halfway down the pins, so exactly. I was we're just guessing. Show you. I was just guessing. You're just guessing. It's there, it's there, about. It's there and thereabouts. Come on. I mean, it's kind of annoying now. We should have had a birdie on the last, and then chunks We could have had one here as well. That's um, going to be back to one over. Yeah, mine slipped over on the right here. Um, I'm having problems right now because I can't turn properly with this back issue into my legs. So it's fine. So you're about well, ten feet. Ten feet, something like that. Yeah. How many? Not sure if that's yours, but you're going to fix it. That's good. I never actually land on a green to actually have to fix one, but the idea is if you fix more than yours every time, it's got to be good. Two or three extra every time. Right. Very good. Go on. Yes. Yes. God. Yes. Yes. Right. Birdie. Birdie. So we are now. Two over. Two over. Very Barely good. Barely on the last would have been one. Oh, doesn't matter. It's okay. Stop knocking stuff that didn't happen. Enjoy the moment. That's it. It's a birdie. So Neil's just taking the little tee position details for us. To par five, I believe, Neil. 440 yards. So 440 short, yards. Man. From the look of it, a bit of a straight out and then a bit of a sweet dog leg to the left. Dog leg around the left. Not the sort of one you can cut the corner this time because you don't no, really know I'm where going, you're going to land. I'm going a little bit left of that, this first bunker, so... Okay. Ah. 
That's absolutely where you said it's going to be. Yeah, the bit left of that bunker. Out towards the bank. I think that's pretty much perfection, mate. Kind of hoping that'll be all right. Well done. Well done. Again, I'm not going to carry on. No. So, Neil's just uh, having a quick look to see where the green is. I must admit, I looked down there and thought I saw a flag, but that was a different hole. He's hit a fabulous drive. Uh, I'm just sorry that I'm not able to take part today, although I'm not really that sorry because when I'm seeing Neil playing how I've always seen Neil play when he's not really been on camera and he's relaxed. Answer on the comments below would you like us to do a couple of solo rounds where Neil just plays the whole round by himself and I literally film and hardly give any advice at all? And uh, Neil caddies me on the round when I'm feeling a bit fitter and uh, hopefully gives me a bit of a, some advice. I think that'd be really good, don't you? Right. So, oh, Neil, what's the detail? I can't see the pin. Okay. Like from here to zap it, but it's yeah. 168 on GPS. Okay. So I'm kind of guessing it's going to play a little bit down from that. Okay. So play it as if it's like 155. Yep. And really, is that middle telegraph pole at the top? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. There's kind of one tree right down past that telegraph pole, straight down in there, yeah. and it's slightly more golden tree than the other ones. And it's, this one in front is the, yeah. the edge of the firs up there, or whatever they are, I don't know the trees. You're not here for your botany, mate. I don't really want a botany. Oh, sorry, botany. A little bit left. A little bit left, a little bit short, probably. Ooh, could be an awkward bit. Could be a bit awkward. Well, I've had a rip one. Yeah, not the best shot in the world there. Eh? Well, you're going to get a thumb, aren't you? Well, it's, it's one of those slightly between clubs, and you try to not hit it too hard. So. Just a little bit out to the right. Yeah, no, just not kind of clear around. No. Still, actually, it's on the it's on the fairway, yeah. so it's, it's all right. Okay. Yeah, got your markers here. All right. Oh, anyway. yeah, I'll have it now. So Neil, we didn't find yours. There's quite a big drop off. Yeah. On that side, red post as well, from what I can see. I'm not going to hit good shots all the time. No, I'm no. Nine, nine handicapper, so I've got to expect. Hey, if I got at least one shot in out of six holes, I'm happy man right yeah, now. Got to expect a slappy one. So uh, we took mine. Yeah. which, although it didn't seem to be a massive distance, was actually on the fairway. And it's that really annoying yardage. Oh, it's back to that again, is it? Sorry, 70, mate. 77. Yeah, we ought to do that game where you do alternate shot and we'll try and get you in the position yeah. you want. <laughs> okay, let's set this up. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Right. So John's just to the, the, the John. The flag is just to the right of John's head. Well, there you go. It's a big head. It's a great strike. It's just rolling. Yeah, I feel well. Yeah, put a bit short, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, Probably not quite as much of a slope as we're thinking. Right. I'm happy that at my level I've actually just pulled out two fairly decent shots. I can just about walk. It's a similar thing, I think, with the bump. I didn't move. I'm hoping for it to release. And it didn't then. release. Oh, we'll go take a look, mate. We'll go take a look. So we took Neil's. Uh, I think in reality we both probably hit about 50 or 60 yards, and not not far yeah. enough. It's just yours it doesn't roll. Release. They don't roll in, do they? No, I don't. I'm not getting any release at the moment. No. Um, I don't know because trying a different ball, which is a little bit more maybe spinny around the greens. Okay. But. I mean, great if you're landing close to the flag because they don't go yeah. anywhere, but... It's just having the confidence in summer to do it. Yeah, because you're assuming they're going to roll and roll. Exactly. So? so it's a par five. Yeah. You know, we're doing all right. We get a nice steady par again. It'll be good. If we get a birdie, well, that'd be amazing. Of a wonky camera angle, sorry. But. That took a little, hmm. little kick off something. But yeah, it does a lot from that. You go 
Because you were, I think you were out straight. Yeah, you were about two foot right of the pin. Went dead straight, two foot right yeah. of the pin, but went dead straight. Yeah. Oh, that's right. okay. You're inside me there. That's a whole nother video. Right, okay. Let's tap this in, Neil. Well, or shall I just go first? Oh, you can just go for it, mate. You've go got on. the camera. Yeah, it's still on a very wonky tripod right now. Well done, well done. Well, we've got another par. We've got another par, we've got someone coming behind, so we're um, we're not taking too long on each hole right now. But one to go. One hole left. One hole left. We're two over. And it's just darkening, the clouds are just starting to darken yeah. a little bit. There is rain. There is rain, there is forecast, rain forecast today, forecast, but so. so far, well. Let's beat it. Fantastic. Don't want to get wet. Right then, Neil. Right, John. Final hole. 324 yard, par four. Par four, up the hill again. This is back to the back to the clubhouse, back to all the facilities. Yeah, Not a great hole, to be honest. I'm kind of guessing that's the pin on the wooden side of the clubhouse. Yeah, I think right now we have to get out there and work it out when we get there. So, uh, I think the apex of the swimming pool. Okay. Just allows for the fade. If it happens, that's darkened quite a bit, according to my camera. It's quite cooling. Yeah, which is nice actually. It's got quite hot for a while. Oh, it's a bit of a bit of a stinger. A little bit up to the left. Could be okay. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's up there. It's left hand side, but. But a bit on the low one. Have you got a tea? I, 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 I should not have a tea on me, mate. <laughs> uh, well, oh, I had a pocket yeah. full of them earlier. So I'm going, well, I'm probably going to open that bunker. Yeah, you go straight to that bunker. I tried to look over that. Still gone left as well. Yeah, just kind of falling off. Well, we'll find it, mate. Oh. Yeah, mine's just going to be in the rough. Not the ideal angle. Was hoping for a fade. It's okay. Just came over a bit. So, final hole. We just tried a bit too hard on those drives. I lost balance. You you I, lost balance. I, I tried I think to hit a little yours. bit too hard, but... I, I think with scrambles, you've got to kind of remember, just play your own game, and that's yeah. what you've been doing for most of this round. Most of the round I have been. Then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try to give it a little bit more money. finish. Try to get it a little bit further. Yeah. In, in reality, always just play your own game. Um, but we'll make make the best of this. Yeah. yeah I'm sure I we'll think today, fine. like you said, you may have had a couple of daft drives, but quite frankly, I've, I've you've got had a massive I've got a lot of, of positives to take away positives. from it anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Pre mostly like it was a 10 or 12 birdie run, a 12, but, 10 or 12 par run. Yep, so. Very positive about the goal, very positive about the point. Lovely place. I know. I was thinking at the start, what's the point? Well, what is the point? The point what is, is the this. Point? The point is that just up here, you'll see it in a second. It's fabulous, fabulous. So let's finish. Let's hopefully finish with a nice, just a nice, a nice par would be good. A nice par. We'll check on. So we're on the left hand side as we thought. We took yours, mine was a bit further back. 131. 131. No. Not a bit heavy. Well, you missed the bunker because the bunker, I think, would have kicked a bit right. Yeah, I think. Yeah, a little bit fatigued now, I think. Helicopter coming in. Yeah. I won't hit that high. See you turn rescue. It was just short of this bunker. Yeah, it wasn't the best, but the bunker's right on the edge of the green, so nice little bit of short game. Get it close. I think that's pretty good, Neil. That's pretty good. It's on there. On the green. So, another long putt. Long putt for par. Would be nice to get this one in, wouldn't it? 
Would be. Well. Got a nice pace. Go on, finish off. Oh. Oh. Well. Follow that line. If only I saw the line, it'd be great. Too hard. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, finish off, mate. Tap her in. Well, a bogey. The point. Your ball. My ball. Um, I'm going off to take some more pills and have a lie down. You so played very well, my friend. Should we go and film an ending? We're going to film an ending. We're going to get off. Ending. Thank you very much to the patience of the gentleman who's um, playing behind. Yes. <laughs> there we are, John. We, we made it. Very slow. So we've finished up three over. We had a bogey on the last. Yeah, I'd like to say it was a bit of a painful uh, day at the point for me, but yeah. in reality, it was a really good day for you. It was. It was all right. I mean, I, I left goes. a few shots out there, but you you're know. always going to leave a few shots out there. But it but literally became a, a twelve-hole solo round. It did kind almost, of, didn't it? Yeah. Going yeah. a couple of shots from you in there, but it's all right. And that was just a couple. We'll, we'll work out what our sort of competition score would have been. Yeah, we'll be interested to know. Down we'll put it um, but three over, I think that's not going to be that bad at all. Yeah, no, I don't think we did too bad. No. Point fans have been away, lovely point holidays. That's another yeah. people connected to this. Thank you very much to the point Paul Zeff and Lars coming film today. And um, thank you very much to the patience of some people on the course. Yep. Uh, we haven't delayed anybody, I don't think. But thank you very much to your patience for That's all right. We just try and hit a golf ball today. Ah, you, you got some in there? Um, I'll, I'll get better and I'll improve and my health will get better again. Jeff maybe probably pushed myself a bit early. Yeah. Bit of an early week. But we had to get here and play because it's really difficult to get hold of the point because we've the been, place is busy all the time. We've been trying. The place is always busy. And also, we haven't. any time we've tried, the weather's been bad. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just trying to get free time to, to do it. And we've managed to do it today. I'm, so, to, I'm so pleased we have. It's one to tick off the list. And for me, it's one... That I've never played before, and it's well, a great course. for me, it's one to come back because I, I tried to come back with, with four lads, and uh, yeah. we'll see if we can really have a crack yeah. at the course. Great and course. me being a bit fitter would be good, yeah. but well done. Well done. Thank you very much, everybody. Please subscribe, please come and watch our adventures wherever they may be, and uh, we'll be doing another Cornish Quest yeah. very soon. Don't forget, we have got a little forum the link, we is have, just yeah. below. I'll promote the forum for a while. No, we're all, we're all there, yeah, and, uh, chatting away, chat along, and uh, we'll obviously be telling you a lot about the point. Fabulous, fabulous. I like to take some more pills now. Yeah, here you go. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yes. Neil. Yes. Neil, we've just finished the round. I'm just going to put this in because you did say that you've been on the channel for five years. You don't make mistakes anymore, do you? No. Who's, who's got to go back on a buggy now and go and take the details of the 16th? 16th. Me. Yeah. Because you just didn't do your job properly. I know. We did birdie that hole though. You did, you birdied the hole, didn't get the details for me. Oh well. Honestly, can't get the staff nowadays. I'm back on the 16th, taking the picture. Neil's gone home. I'm still here. Life of a YouTuber, eh?